Lakers on their own hot streak away from home. Tonight they tried for the franchise's first seven-game road win streak yeah. in nearly eight years visiting Seattle. Could they pull it off? You saw it earlier tonight here on KCAL 9. Kobe, ready for this one. They have the killer instinct, and they are getting pretty fancy. Woo! Well, look at that pass. That was like peak maverage of the old ABA days, and Lamar Odom is the one that's benefiting the most since Pau Gasol has come here. Here he is again. I mean, these guys know where each other is when they're not looking. Odom with another double-double. He's had one every game since Gasol got here. Can leave Kobe alone? I don't know. If that's what a sprained tendon in your finger looks like torn, give me one. And Sasha Vujic is just instant offense from three-point range now. Lakers building an early double-digit lead, but still in the second quarter, Kobe still loves to drive. Well, if you're going to play him tight, that's disrespecting him. He just goes right at you on to the basket. 62-43, Lakers having their way. He draws a double team, and Gasol gets the beneficial. The dunk, 21-point lead. Kobe and Gasol, look at wide open lane. Well, you know, it's just about knowing each other's tendencies. The triangle offense has never been better. And, you know, these guys are speaking Spanish together, Gasol and Kobe, so the That's defense right. can't understand them. Luke Walton with the assist there to Kobe, who shines again with a three and then this. Now, you can't blame him. He got mugged underneath. No call. And Kobe, the only call he could get was a double technical. He got ejected from the game. With four minutes left in the third quarter, Seattle had hope. Well, they were up by 21 when he got ejected. They lost by 20. <laughs> nice cushion. <laughs> that's eight in a row overall, seven straight outside staples. First time that's happened since the Glenn Rice days. Oh, yeah. In the spring of 2000. Seven different players in double digits, including Kobe, who says he wasn't crazy about getting tossed. Well, I'm disappointed, but, you know, I'm not going to comment. <laughs> On the official. Don't want to get fined anymore. Seem a little quick, though. Hmm? That seemed a little quick. Watch, watch the replay. Watch the replay. All right, Kobe, too smart for that. Knew they didn't need him in that game, but they've got a couple of home games this week. And as we said, look at this road win streak now. It's seven in a row. Still a few wins shy of the franchise record. Also, the NBA record, which the Lakers hold, 16 straight back in 71 72. Jerry West was still playing there. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at the numbers over that latest unbeaten home stretch. Really great, James. And uh, as we looked at the highlight today, it looks like these guys have been playing together for years, yeah. not just a few weeks since Gasol got here. You mentioned Maravich. Some of the stuff's getting pretty fancy. <laughs> you know, they like each other. When you have a locker room that's happy and the offense is understood by everyone, you just don't have Kobe Bryant being a distributor. You know, they're unpredictable right now. They can go to Kobe to Casal. They can go Casal to Kobe. They can go Kobe to Lamar, Casal to Lamar. And then you got a guy like Sasha coming off the bench who's starting to heat it up. I mean, the bench is averaging over 30, but I got to tell you, now they are most dangerous because it's not just Kobe dribbling. Look at that pass. Now, that's, that's just knowing where your teammate's going to be. If you can slash and cut when Kobe has the ball or mm. when Casal has the ball, you're going to score. And that's what's making it so, so happy and exciting for the Lakers right now. Well, it's pretty easy to figure out what you're going to do against the Sonics and the Clippers. Yeah. But, you know, they get up for a team like the Lakers. Mm -hmm. you know, I said Kobe was smart enough not to say anything after the yeah. game, but yeah. uh, there was probably a reason for him to lose his temper tonight. Well, you know, he gets mugged. You know, if you remember when Shaquille O'Neal was here, he got hammered all the time. Now Kobe is a guy that no one can stop. So that's part of the strategy. Play him physical, make the referee, make the call. And a lot of times, you know, referees just let it go. And when you know you're getting pounded, and, you know, sometimes you have, you know, past history with certain referees that mm -hmm. linger on and you want to get it out. You know, with a 21-point lead, he pulled the old red R back, and, uh, you know, his team went on to win the game. Yeah, you see, Kobe got in a few last licks there before they went off. And, uh, you know, the thing you worry about most if he's going to get hammered is yeah. don't get hammered on that ruptured well, that's tendon a good point. That's a in good his point. hand. Thankfully, he didn't.